secret agent K-7 returns. America's number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. We take you to secret agent K-7's headquarters. This is K-7 speaking. Send in Agent Z for assignment. At once, K-7. Special Agent Z reporting for duty. Agent Z, I have received information from certain friends in the intelligence service that a known spy, Carl Frankenberg, has been making regular trips between this city and the capital of another country. He has been carefully searched every time he crossed the border, yet nothing incriminating has been found. Nevertheless, we are convinced that somehow he is carrying information. I want you to investigate his activities. Keep me informed. Two days later, customs officials notified Agent Z when the spy, Carl Frankenberg, again entered France. After crossing the border, Frankenberg went directly to the Paris Hotel, at which he always lived while in the city. The next morning, by arrangement with the hotel's manager, a new switchboard operator reported for duty. Hotel Paris, good morning. Just a moment, please. Hotel Paris, good morning. I'll call him at once. Hold the line, please. Hotel Paris, good morning. Z. Z, is that you? Hold the line. All right, go ahead. There's no one around. Is everything all right, Pat? Yes. N notice that I was a new operator and inquired for the regular girl. I told him she was on a short vacation. Uh, has Frankenberg made any calls? No. He's still in his rooms. I'll call and let you know as soon as he goes out. Hold the line. I've got another call. Hotel Paris, good morning. Yes, Mr. Frankenberg. Yes. You expect a guest? Mr. Paul Wexford. I'll send him up as soon as he comes. Thank you. Hello, Z. Frankenberg just called from his room. He's expecting a guest whose name is Paul Westberg. He wants him sent to his rooms as soon as he arrives. Good. Pat, I'm coming to the hotel immediately. L6 will install the dictaphone later. Keep your eyes open until I get there. A few minutes later, Agent Z arrived and seated himself in the lobby. The spy's visitor, an old man, entered the hotel shortly after Z had taken his position. The old man went immediately to the spy's rooms. As the two talked, Agent Z listened from outside the door. I am not ready to talk with you yet. You'll have to see me tonight. But, uh, Frankenberg, what am I to tell my wife? She wants to know what the work is that I'm doing. Tell her it's none of her business. But she wants to know. She says I cannot do it anymore unless I tell her. When I found you, you had no money. You were starving. I'm paying you well. What more do you want? What can I tell my wife? 
tell her that your work is confidential. And that if you tell anyone, even her, what you are doing, you'll lose your job. Now, get out. Come back here day to night. But I shall get out. Yes, now, Frankenberg. I will be here a day. See that you are. The old man left the hotel. Agency followed him and found that he lived with his wife in a poorer section of Paris. However, beyond that, he learned little. At lunchtime, Agent Z again talked with Pat. Hotel Paris. Pat, this is Z. Has anything happened there? Frankenberg hasn't left his room, Z. However, someone else visited him a few A man about 40 years old. Yes, yes, I've already had a report on the second man, Pat. He was a messenger who delivered some secret papers. The messenger has been questioned. We know where he got the papers and what's in them. We can arrest Frankenberg and his whole organization. But we're holding off until we know how Frankenberg operates. That's all the information I have, Z. Well, perhaps you'll pick up something more this afternoon. I'll call you again later in the afternoon. Throughout the afternoon, Agent Z searched for the answer. Somehow the spy, Frankenberg, was taking valuable information out of the country. But how? Z was convinced that the old man held the key to the problem. That night, Z was in the lobby when the old man entered. I would like to see uh, Frankenberg. He's expecting me. Oh, yes. Your name is? Wexberg. Professor Wexberg. Uh, won't you sit down for a moment? Herr Frankenberg's line is busy. I'll call you as soon as he tells me to send you up. But I uh, usually go up at once. Yes, I know, but we have orders to announce all guests tonight. If you will, just sit down for a moment. All right, uh, I will wait. I will be sitting right over here. Oh, Professor Wexberg, I heard you give your name at the desk. It's been a good many years since I've seen you. You... you remember me? Yes, and yet, it's funny, Professor, I remember your face and your name, and yet I can't recall where we met. It is quite possible that you never met me, my friend. Huh? And here it is, people used to come up to me on the street thinking they knew me. None of them did. Well, how do you explain that? They saw me on the stage, in the music hall. Oh, of course, you're a musician. No, no, my... I am Professor Wexpert, the great memory expert. You remember I used to add up long columns of figures, all in my head. Oh, of course, of course. Well, it's good to see you again. Thank you for remembering me. But go, go, I am expected upstairs. Sure. Goodbye. Goodbye, Professor. Did you find out anything, Z? Yes, Pat. I think I know the answer. Wait. As soon as the old man is out of sight, we'll follow him. Z. Yes, what is it? What did you see? I'm not sure. But I think Frankenberg has been watching us. Yeah? There was a man in that chair behind you. And when you turned toward me, he got up and ran up the stairs. I only saw him out of the corner of my eye. Well, if it was Frankenberg, he'll guess that I know his game. Come on, we've got to get upstairs fast. Pat was right. The spy, Frankenberg, had overheard the conversation between Agent Z and the old professor. A sixth sense told him he was in danger. He rushed upstairs and faced the old man. Who was the man you talked with in the lobby? I don't know his name. He was a man who remembered me. A man who remembered you. I'll tell you who he was. He was a special agent. A special agent? I don't understand. You don't understand? Do you know what you've been doing for months? I have been working for you. You've been working as a spy. I have been a spy? What are you saying? All I did was memorize figures you gave me and then travel over into your country and recite them. You said it was part of a scientific experiment to see how much information the human brain could remember. Those figures you memorized were the number of troops under arms, the number of guns ready for anti-aircraft defense, the number of field pieces. You've been spying against your own country for months. Now, because you talked, you'll face the firing squad unless you do as I tell you. You have tricked me. You'll die. They'll put you against a wall and shoot you at sunrise, unless you do as I tell you. But my wife, she is old. I am not a spy. Here, take this gun and do as I tell you. 
Take it. But... Now listen to me. You've carried every figure I ever gave you in your mind. You've never had a paper in your hand. They can't prove anything against you unless they capture me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I... I understand. If they don't capture you, I am safe. I can see I don't remember. That's it. The special agent you talked with will be here in a minute. When he comes, I want you to hold him up with this gun. Keep him here until I get away. Then you will be safe. He's here already. I'm going down the fire escape. Open up, Frankenberg. Remember, keep him covered with the gun until I get away. No, I can't do it. But I... If I have betrayed my beloved France, you are to blame. Why? You are the one to die. Don't point that gun at me, you fool. I have been a fool, but I am not one now. Open this door, or I'll shoot the back off. Wait, wait, Mr. Special Agent. First, I must do something for my country. What's the matter with you? First, I must do something for my country. Herr Frankenberg, I have never killed a man before. Don't. Don't. Wait. <laughs> Z reporting K7. The spy, Carl Frankenberg, is dead. He was sending such information as the number of men under arms, the number of field pieces, fighting planes, and other statistics out of the country by the simple method of having a former vaudeville memory expert memorize the figures and leave the country with them. The expert was an old man. When he learned how he had been used, he shot the spy. The case is closed. Some spies who work against peace are clever but often their cleverness is their undoing. The advice which France gives her soldiers is worth remembering. Be silent, be on your guard. The ears of the enemy are listening to you. Listen for my next story. This is K7 speaking.